What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Beardbox, and welcome back to Mermaid Splash Passion Festival. It's less impressive there because it's right, right on the screen, yeah, so you can see it. Exactly. So last time we got the ultimate artist and the B ending. So mm. here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through all the endings, and we're going to. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> that uh, one you can skip. There we go. So we're gonna get all of the perfect quote-unquote endings first. That way, when we get the secondary endings, the less impressive ones, uh, we can basically just skip around to straight to the ending. So it'll be a lot betterer. Yeah. So now the question is, Andrea, what club should we go to next? Um, we should do dance class or gardening, so we can see the new characters for a bit. Okay. Or the other characters. Let's do. Let's 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 do. Which one do you want to do? Mm -hmm. I like gardening. You like gardening? Let's yeah. Do gardening. I'll spend some time in my garden with Maka this week. Cece enters her backyard with determination. Mm. Cece is serious about making gardening her true passion. But... Yikes! There sure are a lot more weeds than I remember. And I don't have that many plants or corals started either. Mm. Cece isn't confident she can grow anything substantial in just four weeks. But she starts tending to her garden anyways. She weeds, fertilizes, and tends to what foliage is already there. Foliage, not foliage. Oops. That's alright. When she's done, it's already the middle of the day. Phew! So much to do! Gardening's hard work! Cece's neighbor, Maka, approaches her. Howdy, neighbor! Hope you don't mind, I've been peeking over while you work. Huh! Hi, Maka! I'm trying to get back into gardening! You look tuckered out! I think you need to work on your stamina! Yeah, working in the garden is more exhausting than I thought. I've gained a lot of respect for you. Oh, <laughs> shucks. No need for that. My body's just built for work like this. You'll gain endurance, too, if you keep up the hard work. Right. Do you think I could be good enough in time for the Passion Festival? Huh? That's happening in a month, ain't it? I suppose there's enough time for something decent to grow. Assuming you pick the right thing. Well... I'm gonna try my best! That's the spirit, little Cece! Uh, I'll help you out however I can! What was the pause for? Were you, Be think were you thinking of a funny joke? No, I actually didn't see the next part of text. I don't know why. Oh, <laughs> just, <laughs> just like, uh, processing, processing. Yeah. Oh, wait, there are words there. <laughs> uh, thanks, Maka! Yeah, <laughs> no problem. It's what friends are for. What would you recommend for an amateur gardener like me? I can't decide what kind of plant I should enter in the contest. Hmm, that's a toughie. We've got quite a few options. But I think your best friend would be- or be, best bet would be raising an anemone. Judges tend to be pretty fond of those. Really? Why is that? Well, simple. They're colorful and pretty and they attract rare fish. I think that should be your angle. Oh, okay. Yeah, this sounds like the way to go. So how do I take care of it? What do they eat? How much effort goes into raising a good one? Yeah, they can fend for themselves well enough that it won't be overwhelming for you. Just toss them in some shrimp or scallops every once in a while. That should be good enough. Okay, got it. Thanks for helping me figure out where to start, Maka. What would I do without you? Yeah, glad to help out. With resolve, Cece begins the transplant of the anemone. A huge old pot will do the trick. Perfect! Cece spends the rest of the week carefully tending to her garden. It's important to keep the water conditions nice and stable. She checks on her anemone often, just to be sure. Looks like it's doing okay! Oh my gosh, how exciting! I think this really might work! In her downtime, Cece spends time in the garden sunbathing with her shell top. Mm. Most of that time is spent researching plants and watching gardening videos. Ah, the relaxed atmosphere of the garden is really where I fit in. I love this. Too bad my poor anemone is still so small, but... By the end of these four weeks, I know it'll be big and beautiful. You can do it, anemone. I believe in you. I'll give you all the protein you want, so please don't hold back. Let's give it our all. Cece's anemone, while still small, has all the potential of a winner. With love and care, surely it and Cece can come out a winner at the festival this year. Passion event. Cece notices a rare fish visiting her garden. Ooh, it's cute. Ooh, what are you? I gotta ask Maka. No, I'll try looking it up first. Uh. Time to take a nice little break, so who shall we hang- Whoops, I did stay at home. Oh no! I can back it up though. Okay. There we go, that's fine. 
So, who would you like to hang out with? Um, we should hang out with Dolores so that you get a voice, and then when we do classes with those characters, we can hang out with my my characters' voices. Makes sense. Hi, Zelda. Why are you going crazy today? Mm -hmm. Cece meets up with her friend Dolores at the dance studio after her Saturday class lets out. I hope that's not me, because I can't see anything, because mm. there's a cat. Nope, it me. Oh, you want the crinkle, don't you? Crazy kitties. <laughs> wow, Dolora, you're always here dancing, aren't you? Oh, 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 only because there aren't many things I would rather be doing. Though I am a little sore, to be honest. It might do me well to ease up on practice. Hmm. <sighs> I'm getting up there in years now for a dancer. <laughs> I guess I never realized we had that big of a gap. Especially because you're so gorgeous! <laughs> you're nothing to sneeze at yourself, Cece. Whatever it is you're up to, or all up to, you always look so excited doing it. You're utterly charming. Aww. Well, the thanks, Dolora! Cece will need some time to recover from that one. Aww. You know, hon, it took me a while to figure out that dancing was what I wanted to do. That's just maple. I'm gonna go back to the high pitch. Mm. Hon, I know you've been floating around trying to find your passion too. I can relate to that. Delora looks deep in thought for a moment. What? Really? But I've only ever known you as a dancer. Mm-hmm. I know. There really was a time I hadn't figured it out yet, though. She is going fucking crazy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you remind me of that time of my, that time in my life. I believe you can find what fulfills you too, hon. Maybe one day you'll even find a long, a full-time gig doing what you like. Wouldn't that be lucky? Aw, Delora. I hope that for you too. <sighs> I may have missed my window on that. Not that, not that the thought of it has stopped me from pushing, pursuing what I like. Gosh, I can't talk. Mm. What I want to say is that it's important at any age to do things you like. So good luck, Cece. Yeah, I want to be able to feel fulfilled and like be able to express myself properly. You've always been a huge inspiration to me in that way. So thanks, Delora. I'll keep doing my best. You've got a good head on your shoulders, Cece. I remember when you first came to the studio with your innocent little ambitions. You definitely missed a lot of your cues, but there was no denying that distinct passion of yours. D did I really miss my cues before? It feels like so long ago I can barely remember. Oh, come now. It wasn't that long ago, was it? Wasn't it like at least a year ago? A year? There's no way you've only been dancing for just a year, is there? Uh, oh, well, no. I've been doing a lot of the stuff I'm interested in for more than a year. Way more than a year. But it's been difficult to really stay focused on just one. That's why this year's Passion Festival is so important to me. I want to enter a contest and then continue to follow that passion. Sounds like you're really serious this time. Someone like you, Cece. There's a bright glimmer... No. <clears throat> Sorry, that was me. Mm. I wasn't paying attention, I was out on my smoke break. Uh, There's a bright glimmer of fondness in Dolores' eyes for just a moment. Someone like you can do anything. Well, enough about that. This t this is time we could be spending getting manicures. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go! Cece and Dolores swim off happily together to get pampered for the day. Cece's glad to have a friend who knows how to relax so well. She feels utterly refreshed. Ref ref <laughs> she feels utterly refreshed after hanging out with Dolores. Friend event. Delora comes over to Cece's house and paints her nails. Oh my gosh! I never realized how far a little nail polish can go! So cute, right? Wanna go blue for your other hand to match your hair? Yes, please! Aw. That's adorable. The week is over. Three weeks until the Passion Festival. Monday already. Well, looks like it's time to go back to the garden. Oh, should we change our outfit to be gardening? Oh no! It's okay. We can do it. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> I know all the tricks. Yay! Turn. All right, so let's go gardening. Cece feels absolutely refreshed entering her garden for its second week. Everything looks to be in order, and Cece feels motivated to make it look even better. Ah, I think I'll plant even more stuff today. Cece heads to the garden store nearby and stocks up. She buys seeds, fertilizer, tools, pots, just about anything one would need for a garden. Phew, that was a little spendy, but it'll be worth it. Cece returns to her garden and starts tending to it immediately. 
She plants rows of different colored corals, all different sizes of anemone. She even plants edible seaweed to harvest later in that season. Ooh, these will be delicious! I'm so excited, I'll share them with everyone! In the middle of her gardening, Maka comes to say hi. You're a hard worker, Cece. I'm always impressed by your efforts, you know. Huh, thanks, Maka. I do my best. Maka very abruptly lets out a big happy sigh. <sighs> yeah, seeing you just... It really fills me with a sense of nostalgia. Yeah? Tell me about it. Huh? Well, sure, I guess. Cece sits down in one of her garden chairs, ready to listen intently to Maka's story. It's so rare she shares anything about herself, not her garden. Gotta listen in! Well, seeing you just reminds me why and when I bought my house, you know? It had, and still does, the best spot for a big garden in the whole neighborhood. Ah, but it's about her garden still, of course. I can still remember when everything in my yard was just sand. It had so much potential. So, the first thing I did was fill up as many rocks and stubborn pots as I could. Oh. Yeah, good luck keeping up with it. <laughs> yeah, well, what's happening? <laughs> I'm not doing that. My hands are up here. Oh. Th th this is just, uh, she's gonna keep talking. Oh. Uh-oh, what did I unleash? Before Cece knew it, she had been pulled into an hour-long origin story about Maka's garden. <laughs> it was nice to learn more about Maka, as well as a bunch more about gardening, but it was still quite tiring. Whoa, is it six already? I gotta go! Time really does fly by- wait, whoops. Time really does fly by when you're talking! Well, geez, thanks for listening to me ramble on for so long, Cece. Ah, it really was quite the ramble, but it was fun! I'll catch you later, Cece. Keep up the good work! Bye, neighbor! Phew. That was fun, but I think I'm ready for a nap! Cece spends the rest of the week attending her garden and researching plants as usual. But on the last day of the week, something is amiss. Oh no! Cece's anemone seems sick somehow. Oh gosh, oh no! Its tentacles seem wilty and its color isn't as bright. What's more, there's not a fish in sight near it. Cece tries a few things to remedy the situation, but nothing seems to be working. It seems like it can make it through the weekend, but... If I don't do something soon, my poor anemone could die and suck on my chances at the Passion Festival! Cece will have to find a solution somehow. I swear I'll figure it out soon, for my anemone's sake! Passion Event Cece and Maka take a break from gardening to share a lemonade. Sweet. Hmm. Gosh, I should really make some plans today while everyone has time off. Maybe it should be to watch some Beard Box next time on Beard Bo Fuck. Nailed it. It's the second time I messed that up. Hey. So thanks everybody so much for watching. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.